Yo, what's up, guys? Coming in here with the second to last review in the FNAF Wave 2. Wave. Yeah. This here is the GameStop exclusive. That is, if you try and buy it now, way too expensive. It's going for around, I've seen 180 to 250 whack numbers. Because I'm trying to get another one to put it on the wall. You got the wall with the inbox exclusives, the error figures, and just some other bums. Now that wall will never be complete, because I'm looking for lefty. If anybody's got lefty out there that wants to hook hook a hook a brother up, I'm, I'm willing. I'll give you five cents in Canadian nickels. Okay, out of this. This right here is one of the uh, few exclusives we have. Or I have actually, because I don't. I I can't get these more recent ones. They're just avoiding me. Like uh, Lefty, I have not found Lefty. He's way too expensive. Lol bit, I couldn't find. And then that glow in the dark baby, I still can't find. My Walgreens is poop. Just letting you know. Don't come over here. Don't come to the Walgreens over here. Bad. All they have are like Dragon Stars, and that's that's something we don't we don't talk about anymore. Okay, so I don't have the box for this one either, which I thought I would save because it is an exclusive, and I usually save the boxes for the exclusives, but I guess I didn't for this one because I'm a, a, a dumb dumb. So, you know, I will find a box one day and just, like, edit it. Nah, I can't edit. I'll just have it in the back, looking too classy. So the paint and sculpt on this figure, the sculpt is the same as Nightmare Chica, but they did do the, uh, the stuff with the head, where if you flash a light behind it, it will glow, but I do not have a flashlight, so I cannot show you it. Hold on. <sighs> Ugh, some dust on it. And those eyes. Well, you, it, if you shine a light, everything that's orange will start glowing, looking real snazzy and cool. And it's just, it does add to the like the play factor of this figure other than that it's the same as nightmare chica well actually this hand does not have the cupcake in it it is just a regular hand so there's two differences and those are them very nice paint and very good sculpt just like i said for the other one this one is one of the few figures that has an accessory and it is the boy the Jack O' Lantern. Very nicely painted, I'd say. Good enough for a Jack O' Lantern. And this has the same kind of thing as the head on that one, where if you put a flashlight up to the back of it, it will glow. It's got nice paint, nice sculpt. Look at that. The eyes are actually pretty good. Something they can't do on the actual figures. I should have said that. That's very mean. He does just chill in the back. There's no real way to get her to hold it. Unless you want to balance the hand, which I tried, but it's kind of hard. And doing that usually messes up the arm joints. Like with the original Chica, that's what happened. And with with the uh, black light one, the same thing happened. <clears throat> so for scale, this will be good because I couldn't do it with the Nightmare Chica because I lost the ruler. But it's coming in at just around like under five and a half inches. Like, uh, I don't know what you'd even call that. Five and, five and uh, a quarter of an inch, maybe? I don't know. It's nicely sized. It You can, like, it's not too small where you can't really pose it around, but it's not too big. Oh, I missed articulation. Let me just come back and redo this. So the head rotates, moves up and down pretty decent. No pivot again because it's so close to the... The shoulders, no pivot whatsoever. It goes up to around 90. Rotation there. Oh, okay. Every time I forget to put it, but there's rotation at the shoulder and right here. But I always forget it because, I don't know, bend at the elbow. Looks like a nice, nice not even a C. It's just like a, a wide C. Not good enough. Got a rotation. Little bit of movement. Not supposed to be there. A decent rotation, it's not too loose. It'll stay where you leave it. Bad kick. 
bad kick back. Pretty good bend though. I like the bends really nice. But they're not at the feet like usual. In this next wave, I hope they start up in articulation like they've been doing. They're kind of giving more figures, more points of articulation. Just to, you know, up the value and quality of their figures, which I like. For comparisons, we have the only other two Chicas in existence, other than Blacklight. We got Nightmare Chica. And Regular Chica. This one is kind of a little smaller than Nightmare one, but that's fine. Probably just the way I have it stood up. And then they're bigger than the other one, which is good. That's what I like to see with my Nightmare animatronics. Sorry about that. <laughs> For some uh, comparisons to the whole rest of the wave. Nightmare Freddy. Nightmare Bonnie. Let's put Nightmare Chica again. Oh, oh, oh pumpkin cane. My bad. And then Nightmare Foxy. I wish they would have made a, a Jack O'Bonny too. Just to go along with this one. Because then he would have had like a... Well, no, it couldn't have been the whole Halloween update. Because there's a lot of a lot of characters like Nightmare Balloon Boy, Nightmare Mangle. And then... Uh, who was it? Uh, oh, no, it was just a Nightmare on which we have. It's kind of wacky that they went with a few characters from the Halloween update, and instead of like saying they put Nightmare Mangle in, they gave us they gave us that uh, that beast of Funtime Foxy. Okay, snagging his back. Oh, 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 oh. just some basic comparisons. Super Saiyan Four Goku in the NECA Part Three. They're obviously bigger scales, so they don't work out good together. But they, it shows, doesn't show anything. It just shows a price range. <laughs> you pay more for the other two, get a bigger figure. Okay, good. And now, just because I forgot to throw them in here, the ruler of one and all, Freggy Fazbear, coming in. He's way too big, I think. He shouldn't look that big of a difference between them, but hey, it's an airline. They can do what they want. Now, for the final thoughts, if you can get this, if you have $200 to spend on it, I recommend it. It is a really good figure. The paint's nice. It looked good, but it's too expensive. So if you find this out in the wild, you better keep that thing mint on card or you're, you're ruining a... Oh, actually... Not even, because it still sells for well over its original price out of box. So, you know, if you can do it, go ahead. The next review is just going to be Nightmare on, and then I'll see what I'm going to do. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. That's where I post updates and stuff, and I'll see you guys next time when I get enveloped in flames.